In this video, I'll be showing you how to use WPS Office on your Android phone in 2023. Now, this video is going to be very short and simple, you know, and straight to the point. So make sure you download WPS Office, you know, maybe after watching this tutorial and all that. So once you open your, uh, you know, your app, your WPS Office, um, this is exactly what you will see. You don't need to sign up. You don't need to create an account or anything. Mind you, WPS Office has a pro account. You know, this is the pro, but you don't have to use the pro. You can use the free one. I currently use the free one and it is very, very, very useful, very instrumental. So these are all the documents that I have created with WPS Office. You can use the WPS Office to create normal Word documents. You can use it to create spreadsheets. You can use it to make tables. You can use it to make PowerPoint presentation. And I'll be showing you how all these things work in this video. But if you're watching for the first time on my channel and you haven't subscribed, please, I want to be beg you to hit the subscribe button because that's the only way you can support me and support the channel for providing you value. I just hit 2,000 subscribers recently and I'm excited about it. So I want you to be part of that um, success journey for me. So thank you very much for subscribing. Now let's proceed. So if you're opening your, PIX, uh, your um, WPS office for the first time, this is what you, you won't see all these documents because you haven't used it. But me, I'm seeing all these documents right now because uh, they are things that I've created. So this place will be blank for you. So what you want to do is click on the create button at the base of your screen right here. Click on the create button. Then now you can now choose what you want to do. You can choose to create a document, a word document. You can choose to create a PDF document. You can choose to create a memo. You can choose to scan something. You can create an Excel sheet. You can create a PowerPoint presentation. So let's start with the Word document. So if you click on this, then you click on blank. Boom. This is where you start your Word document. You start typing or you can you can um, um, copy and paste it a block of you know content or text inside here so there are so many tools just like you have your word and um, ms word there are so many tools you can use to format and edit your content here so for instance let me um um let me say um how to use wps office so let's say this is the title of an article. So what I will do is I want to make this like a heading. I will just mark it, you know, highlight it. And then I'll come to this part. And then I'll take it to the center. You can see it's in the center. And then I'll come here to increase the size, the font size. You can click on this to increase the font size. You can click on this to change the font color, you know, um, and all that. You can uh, click on this to highlight, but we don't need any of that. Let's make this black. Yeah. No fill. Boom. So right now you have your title and um, if you do not want to see the entire page of what you're doing, like you don't want to see the entire um, um, page, you know, the entire page of the article or the content you're writing, just click this, you know, and then everything compresses and then you can start writing bit by bit. So let's say you have your title here. Let's make this bold by clicking this to make it bold. And then you can start writing whatever you want to write. Let's say um, this is a short tutorial on how to use WPS Office. And then you can just keep writing like that. And when it comes to things like bullet points, creating bullet points is very, very easy. So let me just say here are some bullet points. So basically, just outline your point. Let me just copy and paste this just for tutorial purposes. You can just outline your point like this, paste like this. 
So once you have done this, this is just for tutorial purpose. Of course, you would not be writing here yeah, some bullet points, here yeah, some bullet points, here yeah, some bullet points. Uh -huh. So I will just mark all this, you know. And then I go to where I can format it. I'll click on this. So once I click on this, I'll click on number or just you know bullet points and all that. And I can just leave it like this or like this. You understand? That's how you create bullet points. And then you can also add images, you know, to your to your document. So if you click on the plus sign right here, not even the plus sign, once you click on this image. You see add pictures you can see it once you click on add pictures you can go to your gallery you know you know insert a picture that you want mark okay and it has been inserted and then you can crop it and then boom you have your picture and then you can also add things like table to your uh, um, the document. So if I click on the plus sign, you see table, you see comments, you see custom drawing. Basically, just click on table and you can see, you can choose the number of rows and columns that you want, just like that. And then you can add it to your design. So your um document just like that so let's this this is like the basic things you need to know these are the basic things you need to know about creating documents on wps office so if we go to let's save this so um if we go to back to save so if we go back to the um, um, home page, let me call it the home page, you know, and you click on create again, then you can choose to create, um, you know, what we did now is um, um, like a document, you know, a normal um, Word document. So you can also create um, an Excel, you know, an Excel sheet, spreadsheet by clicking this. And once you do that, you click on the blank page and boom, you have your Excel sheet. For those who know how to use Excel, um, I'm not pretty good at using Excel, but I'm just here to let you know that you can actually create something. Um, you can actually create an Excel sheet using this application. And if you also come back, you click on create, and then you click on um, PowerPoint presentation, click on blank. You see how you can create a PowerPoint presentation very easy very uh, um, um, clean so um, yeah that's it maybe I'm making a special video on how to create PowerPoint presentation because it takes a lot of time to create something really good so I would not want this tutorial to be too long I'm going to create a special tutorial for um, a PowerPoint presentation so just watch out for that that's why you have to subscribe so you don't miss it